Hey guys, please believe it here. So today I want to talk to you about skincare. I was approached by a small startup company called Minimal. It is a husband and wife and they've tapped into the dry brushing business. Now, I have to admit that this video is not sponsored. I was just approached by them to review the product for them. Um, and I agreed, I don't mind doing it. So we'll just jump right into it. Here are the benefits. To boost circulation, sweep away dead skin cells, stimulate the lymph node, improve the appearance of cellulite. Now that one might be a bit of a stretch just because cellulite is just um, basically where the skin and the tissue separates once you get older or is it like the tissue and the fat whatever it separates that's what cellulite is it's just the separation in between all of that and it looks lumpy and bumpy and all that kind of stuff you know what I'm talking about okay if you don't look it up I'm sure you've all taken a science class before so but if you don't believe me look it up I mean I personally just don't think that it's gonna help reduce cellulite as far as the sweeping away dead skin cells yes but the other stuff no improve digestion, help the cells and body in general remove waste, okay? This is what it says it's supposed to do. Um, and it's also supposed to kind of touch base with your lymphatic system, okay? So your lymphatic system is part of the circulatory system and a vital part of the immune system, compressing a network of lymphatic lymphatic vessels that carry a clear fluid containing infection fighting white blood cells throughout the body. Lymph from Latin lympha meaning water. Also your lymphatic system is responsible for collecting transporting to the blood and eliminating the waste our cells produce. If the lymphatic system is congested it can lead up to a buildup of toxins causing inflammation and also illness. Dry brushing stimulates as it invigorates your skin. Now we all know that, well, I'm not gonna say we all, but most of us do know, if you've been in any kind of science class, that the skin is the largest organ on your body. So it's very important that we keep it hydrated, moisturized. I mean, you really have to take care of your skin. It's what covers, it's that protective layer of muscle and bone and tissue, okay? So the process of dry brushing the skin is fairly simple, okay? So let me go ahead and show you this package. It looks like this, okay? It's a nice, sleek package. Um, it's the four times rejuvenate experience. So inside of this box, we have the dry brushing instructions, and then it has back side instructions basically this back side is for your face and the front side that I showed you is for your body um, inside of this package there contains a back brush loofah sponge and let me show you how that works so you're gonna take it unfold it okay there's one side that's the scratchy pad side okay See that? Looks like that. And then the other side is very soft. So you would take it, okay, and like so, okay, you would go up, work your way down, or actually, you want to start from the bottom and work your way up, okay, because you're going towards the heart. So every time that you use the face brush, the Kojak sponge, the body sponge, or the loofah, you're working towards your heart. So it, you just work your way up from feet all the way up to heart, okay? Also inside of the box, you have the body brush. It has a nice little handle. You can slip your hand inside of it. And if so, you're gonna do nice, gentle strokes going up your arm. Remember, everything is towards your heart. So we'll start at the hands, nice strokes, going up the body, nice and smooth, no need to rush, because you're gonna 
do this for about three to five minutes on each side, okay? Same thing with the other side. Go up, nice and easy. There's no need to put pressure on the brush. Remember, this is your skin, so you wanna be gentle with it as you go up the arm. Same thing with your legs. When you get to your stomach, you're gonna do it in a clockwise motion, okay? Also with this body sponge, or brush, excuse me, there's a stick that attaches to the back of the sponge. So you just slide it in between those grooves, oops, upside down, slide it in between the grooves, like so. So when you're going to wash your back, okay? So who wouldn't want that, right? A good old scratch on the back. Now, you also have a Kojak sponge that it comes with. You can use this on your face. Um, I personally wouldn't use it. That's just me. Um, I'm really particular about um, the things that I use on my face, but I would definitely use this face brush on my face. Um, once you use the face brush, you'll kind of go like this, slowly going down towards the heart. Remember, everything is towards the heart. Nice, easy strokes on your face. No need to be rough. Kind of that back and forth motion. Once all the toxins are then rinsed away off the skin or picked up by the bloodstream where they are expelled by the excretory system, do not, I repeat, do not, you, don't, you, don't do that. Do not, do not dry brush broken or inflamed skin because you will get an infection. Point blank, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this or anything. Don't do it. Don't use it on broken or inflamed skin. Or if you have an open sore, don't do that. It's common sense. Don't do that, okay? Never apply pressure or brush an area where the sensation is uncomfortable or painful. Um, I personally recommend that you talk to your primary care physician or other doctor that you see about dry brushing before you start doing it just because there's people out there that have dry skin, sensitive skin, psoriasis, dermatitis, eczema. Those people should not try dry brushing just for the simple fact it's only going to make your skin issue worse and we don't want that for you. Um, but your doctor might feel that it's okay. I personally, being in the medical field, I don't think that's okay just because of some of the things that I have seen personally, um, such as skin problems and things of that nature. So if you have those problems, don't use it. I'm sorry, boo-boo, don't do that. Some of you may know that the skin is the largest organ on your body. If you have taken a science class in your life, you will know that the skin is the largest organ on your body. And a lot of times we do not utilize um, our skin for detoxification purposes. That's okay. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. I'm not going to sit here and force you to do it. But I think it's a good idea um, to dry brush. Me personally, I've done it three times so far. I actually like it. Have I seen a big improvement? I'm not going to say no. But I can't really say yes just yet, just for the simple fact that I feel like it takes a little bit of time to really see an improvement um, with things like that. So, um, but I do recommend purchasing it. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Every product has side effects. Think about, think about those medicine commercials that you hear on TV. It might be prime example, oh, Viagra. Let's just say that, prime example. 
by era. Have a good time. Enjoy your life with your woman, right? Blah, blah, blah. And then below in fine print, it says, may cause hearing loss, may cause bloody urine, may cause diarrhea, may cause hair loss, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, this has side effects too. And these aren't as bad as Viagra, okay. So some of the side effects that I, I did some research and this is what I came up with so far. Um, itchy legs. Most people say dry brushing helps with itchy legs, but some people experience more itchiness. Hmm. I can see that, I guess. Um, micro tears or cuts in the skin. If you are prone to broken capillaries or use a brush that is too rough. Don't use a brush that's too rough. If this brush is too rough for you when you first try it out, don't do that, okay? Let's talk about brush maintenance. So when you go to cleanse your brushes, you want to cleanse them with soap and water. Um, personally, I would use something like Dawn dish soap, something that is not so harsh on the brushes, but also has some kind of antibacterial in it, okay? Um, and then you want to store them in a place that's sunny. You can store them in a bathroom window, something like that, where the sun is going to hit it and help dry it because these brushes can end up, you know, having me end up getting mildew. You don't want that, okay? Um, and also, never, ever, ever, ever share your brushes. That's gross, number one. Number two, that brush can carry those dead skin cells, gross, and you don't want to spread that or give that to anybody. And why would anybody want to use something that you've already used? That's a personal item like that. Gross. Like, you ain't going to use somebody else's tampon they already used, right? So why would you use a brush that somebody else has used, okay? Nasty. Don't be nasty, okay? Let's talk about using the brushes again, okay? You can apply... Um, and like aromatherapy oil or a lotion onto the brush once you get out of the shower and you can just lightly make those nice strokes but me personally I would do it before it would only make sense to um, do the skin or the dry brushing before you get in the shower and then once you get out of the shower put some of that oil on your skin and then pat dry with a towel. Don't rub yourself dry. You want to gently pat dry with a towel, okay? Common sense, right? Yeah. But if not, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll learn as we go, okay? Also, when you are using the dry brush, you want to start with your feet and work your way up towards the heart. Everything is working our way up towards the heart and getting rid of all that, okay? So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer those in a timely manner because I know this is important. You have lots of questions. I will have some coupon codes down in the description box for you and I believe you can get 20% off your purchase for this um, and I want to say it is $19.95 for the whole kit and you'll get 20% off those codes are only good one per person one time use only so don't abuse the privilege ladies and gentlemen um, and Hopefully you guys will like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.